of this quick short video here um, of the UV Revolution show. My name is Kenneth Bacor, as you know, and today I just have a quick look at the brand new 2025 BMW Mini Countryman EV. I'm at an Ajax Test Fest event, um, and we have a bunch of cars that we're driving today for balloting for a Canadian Vehicle of the Year awards in different categories, and of course, I only focus on EVs. So I'm here to test drive and just get in my sense again, my head wrapped around some of the EVs that qualify for the awards, and I. To my surprise, they actually had the Countryman out. So let me just give you a quick synopsis of this. This is a very short video because I'll, I'll be able to spend some time, uh, usually about a week or so with one in uh, several months once they come to the fleet. But let me give you my quick initial thoughts. So we look at the styling of the Countryman. It's definitely in the Mini and, and it really is nice. And apologize for the dirt here, but you know we're all driving it and as journalists, so uh, we're out and about. Um, so I'm just giving you just a quick walk around. Uh, it's got a longer wheelbase, obviously, than the the, the mini EV, um, much bigger, much more purposeful uh, for carrying people and stuff, still in a small and fun package. And I think, again, Mini's done a great job of incorporating some of the retro cues into their styling language, yet uh, again, modernizing it for the EV realm. And this uh, this really does it. It's a really nice vehicle, um, very comfortable. I'll give you my driving, some driving thoughts in a sec, but uh, they've done a great job in the packaging. Now we look quickly at the interior, some nice funky, and there's probably some different fabric uh, choices that you can get, but I love the, the energy that this thing just gives out. Really youthful vibe, very much energy. So it makes a nice welcoming statement. I love this, this these materials. Um, they, they really feel kind of different than your normal plastics that you get. This has a really, you know, the really funky um, center console. Mostly everything is digital. There's a couple of buttons for some quick um, uh, defog functions, but everything is digital from climate, uh, radio, and all that kind of stuff. Really nice steering wheel on here. Just everything is appointed nice. Good use of space for a small package again in this vehicle. It's got a really nice uh, big uh, moonroof, uh, sunroof option in it. Uh, very comfortable seats. This one has, uh, I guess, probably upgraded power seats on it, but a really nice package. Where things will get a little bit tighter, obviously, is in the rear, but there is room, usable room for some adults here. Five in a pinch, four for sure. I've got the front seat where I would have it. I could probably have it just slightly up a little bit. Got a little long for me. Uh, but as you can see, there's definitely enough leg room in there. Um, even though it has a bit of a center hump, again, you could four would be more comfortable. Um, you've got a nice center armrest, good use of materials. Again, good use of headspace because of that boxiness of it. Um, you've got that straight flat roof so it doesn't slope down like some of the others. So you've got a good amount of headroom back here to be comfortable and uh, nice appointments. And if we look at the trunk space here, find the button to open it up. Good use of boot space, actually bigger than I thought, again, because of that lengthening of the chassis. Um, you got a good amount of boot space. You've got some under storage here as well for charging cables and some knickknacks. Again, you're not going to get a ton of stuff in here, but you, with the seats folded down, it's, it looks like it's got a, a 2020 or a 3030 kind of configuration or 40, 40, 20, I guess, configuration for seats. You can fold down the middle if you've got something long like skis and uh, tie them all down. It's got all this child safety stuff as well. Nice high lift as well, which is adjustable. So easy to get in and out of and put stuff in. They've done a good job. When we look at the front, there is no frunk. Uh, just got a nice easy cover access for making things nice and easy to look at. Nothing much really here. All you do is your windshield washer fluid. That's about it. Everything else is going to be notified by the system when you need to look at something. Otherwise it's pretty self-contained. So in driving the BMW uh, Mini Countryman here, the EV, the new one, I'm um, just doing a quick drive. As you can see, the driver's binnacle. I have the um, driver assistant package activated. Uh, it reminds me every 10 seconds or so to make sure my hands are on the wheel, but it's doing the lane keeping and doing distance control. It's a very smooth, quiet vehicle. This is exceptionally quiet. They've done a great job. Maybe a tad wind noise at the top here, but very, very minor. Um, this is really, really nice, uh, comfortable drive. Uh, I love the, um, uh, I just love the looks of the interior and the the energy level that it it expunges. Is that the right word? I'm gonna try something different today. Um, it's just really cool and there's a nice vibe for it. It's very fun driving this vehicle and yet you get much more roominess even though it's a mini vehicle um, because it's the Countryman. Um, they've done a great job in the interior, the fit finish here, no squeaks, rattles. This is a, a really early, uh, production vehicle that we're testing here at the Jack Test Fest uh, today. Um, they've done a great job. Um, again, it's doing quite well with the lane keeping. Uh, very, very smooth. 
um, turns of the wheel. Um, it just, it's just that annoying reminder that you gotta really grab the wheel every five, 10 seconds. It won't, won't let you go very far without that, but it does highlight some colors and stuff. Really love this, you know, the whole look of, of the gauge package, really easy to navigate. I would have liked to see a little bit more HVAC, maybe button controls, but I mean, everybody's going with that, so I get it. That's just the way it is. Uh, but everything is really nice, solid. The, the steering wheel's a, really, a nice feel to it. And, and most important is the ride. The ride is extremely nice in here. It's very comfortable, very quiet, very smooth. Um, and uh, they've done a great job in, uh, in doing that um, on this vehicle. Uh, just absolutely really, really nice. Um, in, in incorporating the luxuriousness of the brand, yet with the sportiness and the, and the fun factor that the Mini um, has. So good job. So hope you enjoyed this quick look at the Mini Countryman EV 2025 model from BMW Mini. Um, this one is priced at $70,000 with some of the options. I believe the base is into the 60s. Um, so I have to check if it does qualify for the Canadian uh, iZev rebates. Go online and check on this. But again, I'll have a further detailed review on range and efficiency and, and much more thoughts around drivability and use when I get one for a period of time that's longer than 20 minutes. All right, so thanks for joining in. Thanks for tuning in. Everybody stay safe. And until the next show, I'll see you when I see you. Take care and bye-bye.